welcome back at another tutorial about Core PA5X. In this tutorial we are going to take a look at keyboard sets. And keyboard sets are a very important feature on your PA5X. Now why is it so important? Because keyboard sets is basically all the sounds that you are playing yourself over the styles. So it's good to have a good knowledge about what keyboard sets are, how to select them, how to save them in styles or in songs, how to quickly select them or uh, how to build them yourself. So let's start. First of all, it's very important uh, to know what a keyboard set is. Now, what is a keyboard set? Basically, on the screen you see a set called keys, and that uh, is a keyboard set. That is one keyboard set. And beneath that section, you see four different uh, numbers. And those are connected to the keyboard set numbers beneath the screen. And one keyboard set is assigned to one of each buttons. A keyboard set is an AC piano, or a keyboard set is a lead synth, or a keyboard set is a jazz guitar bones, or a keyboard set is a real nylon guitar. So um, you have this section over here, and that's called keyboard, and you have a lower upper one, two, and three uh, button. So in this case, we have the keyboard set AC piano. So how do we know what kind of sounds are assigned to that keyboard set? Well, you press the keys tab on screen, and in the middle of the screen you see which kind of sounds are connected to each knob in your keyboard set, that section over here. So the upper one is the Italian Grand, the upper two is a dark pad, the upper three is disabled because it's grayed out, and the lower is also disabled because it's grayed out, but it contains the ballad strings and the movie strings. So if we play this piano, you will hear the piano and a dark pad sound because that's basically this keyboard set. If we only want a pad sound, disable the upper one button or press the icon. And now we only hear that specific pad sound from upper two. If we only want to hear the ballad strings DNC, we disable upper two and enable upper three and we have that uh, ballad strings DNC. And if you want combinations for a piano on top of it, when you're split enabled, then the lower determines which kind of sounds are added to your style. So if you play it, you will hear that movie string now. When you release your hands, that sound will not go on, um, but that's a setting in, uh, in your settings menu. If you go to the preference section, you see, a, you see a section here that's called memory mode, and it's now set to chord. And if you set it to chord plus lower, that means that you can press the note and it will keep continuing forever. So that's a matter of preference. I rather have it on chord, but... Uh, whatever you like. Okay, so we have the piano and if you go to button number two, that leads in over here, that's a different keyboard set. So if we are looking to the key section and we press that number two, then it will go to the keyboard set player one leads in and that's the button number two and you will see that those elements over here are changed to different kind of sounds. So now we have a lead synth. And if we press the three, you see the trombones and the jazz guitar. And if I don't want the trombones, but only the guitar. Trombones. Cornet. So combinations of uh, four sounds, one for the lower and three for the upper uh, keyboard section. Is called a keyboard set. Now, when you are in the main menu or in the key section, you can press this item and you can select one of the keyboard sets that's included in the factory. You have a section piano, an e-piano, a saxophone, and you have all kind of pages with all kind of combinations of sounds that make up that specific uh, element. So if, for instance, if you select a sound called MK1 stage, you will get in the key section, 
the stage piano, the electric stage piano, and the RX, uh, the, the effects elements on top of it. And if you are in the keys tab, then you can also press the keyboard set library MK1 stage button. It will do the same as in the main screen, so you don't have to switch between the main screen and the uh, normal screen. And you can also say, hey, I want an overdrive guitar. So now we have the uh, overdrive guitar. On number two is a funky guitar. And a crunch guitar on number three. You can also make combinations. So lots of possibilities. And by pressing the keyboard set library, you can select any keyboard set that you like by pressing one of the uh, included uh, elements. That's basically a set of uh, keyboard sets. So a keyboard set is one element beneath the uh, style and you can select one of the four keyboard sets that's included with a style. And if you watch my favorite keyboard sets tutorial, you can also assign 11 keyboard sets to your favorite positions. But that's a different tutorial that's already on my YouTube channel. So okay, that's the concept of a keyboard set. Now, when you are going to look at the keyboard sets, you will immediately notice that there aren't that much keyboard sets available. So it's very nice to add new keyboard sets uh, to your own uh, user library which you can see over here, um, so that you have more access to more of your favorite sound combinations that you can use in your songs and styles. So how can you find keyboard sets that you like? So basically when you're starting with the Korg PA5X, then you are going just to look at the styles and see what kind of uh, sounds there are beneath them and which one you like. So for instance, we have in the funk blues section, a new style called Fly Me Soul. And Fly Me Soul is the style which is basically the song Fly As Me from Sil Sonic slash Bruno Mars. It's a great song, very funky. And let me load up my own registration for that. Fly. Fly As Me, Bruno Mars. And that one has four elements to uh, assign to it. And for instance, the tremolo e piano is something from the factory uh, sound, but normally you, yeah, you have to hear it in the style to actually appreciate that uh, specific sound. And this is a great sound, the tremolo e piano, uh, when playing this uh, specific style, for instance. It sounds like this. And you hear that tremolo over it. So a very nice sound that you know that is easy to overlook when you are going to the e piano section and you see all these kinds of um, sounds and it's somewhere in there. Uh, basically it's on page four and it's a tremolo e piano. And another thing is that sometimes for that specific style, the keyboard set is in the factory sound set, but it sounds different because the programmer decided to do some edits on the background, which you are going to look at in the advanced section. Um, so it's always good to check them and if you like it, save it in your own uh, keyboard set library and I will show you in a minute how to do that. So maybe you are going to play with this specific style, it sounds like this. So a really nice sound 
And when you want to save that sound, you can press the Trimilo e-piano and you can save it to your own user library. And that's very easy to do. You are in the factory uh, sounds now. So when you are saving the keyboard set, you can save it only to a user area. And my default is user keyboard uh, set, QR keyboard sets. But you can create your own uh, section or you can use one of the user uh, tabs. But you can also assign a new bank, uh, just like I did. And then you have it in your own bank. Um, so that it never get overwritten by anything you load from others. So basically, uh, you are selecting the location where you want to store it and you can give it a name. I like to give it a uh, name with my initials in front of it. Um, Q R and I'm for instance, uh, favorite tremolo e piano. And when I save it now and press the save button, it will give it a new name. And I can select it in that user area. I can still use the every keyboard set from the uh, factory sets, but I can also go to the user section and say, hey, I want that specific QF of Tremolo e piano. And then it's immediately available in that style. So uh, very convenient, but I can also imagine that you want um, that favorite tremolo piano, save, save it in a different kind of style. So let's say we have the gospel blues and that one hasn't the favorite tremolo e piano. So if we are going to look, it's not there. So um, we want to save it in that specific style. Now, how do you do that? Um, let's save the favorite tremolo e piano. And when we are going to save the save keyboard set, you can only save it to your user keyboard set. Now, why is that? Because it's a factory style, it's protected so that you can't override all the uh, default elements that are in the factory. But I want that specific organ replaced with my favorite tremolo piano. Well, there are two ways to do that. The first one is that we copy this style to a user area and then it's unprotected. And we can replace, for instance, the organ or the overdrive guitar with that favorite tremolo piano. Or we are going to save it in the songbook and we are going to assign our favorite keyboard sets in the songbook over there for that specific song. So it's up to you what you want. I will show you both methods. Well, the first one is make a copy of that style. And you can do that by pressing the menu button on the screen and then select save style. And because it's a factory style, you have to select it to a user area. And I have a specific element or a specific directory created for that. Uh, it's called QR styles and you can also create your own bank or you can use one of, of the user uh, banks, which I don't uh, prefer. Um, so in the Core PA5X, you can add your own uh, banks and I would highly suggest to do that. I did this for all the other models too and for the bonusware sections. Um, and in that QR styles, you select that one and you can give it a name and I can say, hey, this one is called QR. FTY gospel style, gospel blues. Now I know this is a style which I've copied from the gospel blues uh, style and I save it. And you see in the top of the screen that it's now pointing to user QR styles. And over here, we still don't have that QR favorite tremolo e piano. And I want number three, the piano replaced by that QR favorite tremolo e piano. And if I press save keyboard set now, I get a different kind of screen because this, is, this isn't a factory protected style. And I can select the option, hey, don't save it to the library, but save it only for this style. And with the drop down list at the bottom, you can say, hey, we have the four buttons over here. And I want to save it in button three, the piano. And I want to replace that piano with that QR favorite tremolo e piano. And let's press save. It says the destination already exists. Yes, override it. And now the style is saved with that new keyboard set on position three. And you can see it over here on the screen in the middle. And when I press the buttons now and I go to button three, that tremolo e piano is over there. So if I want to replace this organ on number one, just select one of the new sets, new sounds. I want a 
jazz saxophone and I want that in the save keyboard set. Two style organ uh, setting, so I use the first one. Press the save button, override it. And now it's replaced in that style with the uh, jazz sax. So now we have the overdrive guitar, the tremolo piano and the saxophone. And when I go press button three. So, um, so that's the way to do it. So that's how you can add your own keyboard sets to styles. But if you're going to use a factory style, then uh, you can't replace those uh, elements on the bottom, but you can do it whenever you are going to select to save it in your book. For instance, the Forget Me Pop is the Louis Capaldi Forget Me song. And I don't like that specific uh, piano, for instance. And I want to replace it with a different piano. Well, I'm going to select the Italian jazz piano. Or for instance, the rock piano. And that one is active now. And whenever I press the uh, save as a song button, the active keyboard set will always be placed in uh, number one, in the keyboard set one. So the uh, AC piano will be automatically replaced because the rock piano is uh, active. So let's do that. And we are going to say, hey, this is a test song so that I can remove it later on. New songbook entry. Yes. And you will see now that the rock piano is replaced in that style. And that is because the book section is overwriting that specific uh, keyboard set. So if I press another one, you won't see uh, it's a called my setting. So let's use another one. But if we are going to set the test for get me pop again, you will see the rock piano is there again. So if we are going to select a different one, for instance, the mouse muted trumpet, then we are going to that book entry, to the entry edit, and we see here the selected uh, keyboard set. And you can say, hey, I want that replaced in the lead scene too. Or if you press this, you can freely use one of your uh, keyboard sets and say, now I want the trumpets Edmo and I want to save it on the place of the lead synth. So if I save that songbook entry now, and we are going to look at the factory style from that songbook, then you see that we have the rock piano on one and the trumpets Edmo on two. And let's say I want a different guitar on number four, press the book item, entry edit. And in the first set, you can say, hey, I want a overdrive guitar in the last one. Save the song, book entry. And when we look now, then on number four, that overdrive guitar is selected. But if we are going to select the original style again by pressing it, then you will see the original styles again, the original elements. So we have the acoustic piano again and the saved uh, nylon guitar. And that's really convenient because um, the factory set, you can use a specific style for multiple songs, but you want to play with other keyboard sets on top of the song, depending on what song you are going to play. So that's the way to do it. And um, those are the two methods for saving your own keyboard sets to a specific uh, element. Now, how can you find new uh, sounds? Well, that's easy. In one of the other videos, I've explained that there are over 600 uh, styles available on the Korg website in the bonusware section for the Korg uh, series. And you can add that to your Korg PA5X. And I've did that. And for instance, when we are going to take a look at this song, are you ready? You will see that it has the four sounds. And this is a very interesting uh, style from that bonus set. It's the song Ready For It from uh, Taylor Swift and it's absolutely amazing. And this mono saw detune isn't available in our own uh, keyboard sets from the factory. So we can save it if we like that uh, specific sound. So this is a new set of keyboards. And the fat sub. That one is actually in there. But this one is also a very interesting one, Wakey Lead. 
This one is actually in the factory uh, set, but if we are going to select that one, let me see where I can find it. It's in the synth category. Yeah, it's over here on page eight, the wacky lead. But if we are going to use the, the factory version of that, you'll hear that it sounds rather differently. So if you like the the reprogrammed version uh, in this uh, specific style, then you can save it to your own user uh, area by save keyboard set and you can save it to your own library. And you have a new set of um, programmed uh, keyboard sounds uh, to your liking. So really nice uh, to have this uh, in your arsenal. Yeah, this song is amazing. Let me give a quick example. One of the free uh, sound styles that you can download from the Korg Bonusware section and well the message is basically you can select which kind of sounds are in every uh, bonus uh, sound and if you like them and as soon as you find something that you like just um, yeah add it to your own uh, set. So that's it for the beginner section and we are going to take a look at how to create these uh, kind of keyboard sets yourself in the next tutorial for uh, the more advanced users. So that's it for now and I uh, hope to see you again in the more advanced uh, tutorial section.